my old friend Tracy Ringles will be talking about bull riding. Sometimes you draw a tough bull. Two years in a row, we've, we've drawn a tough bull. We pushed a couple times late, squared a couple balls up. They turned them into double plays. Um, Arietta was ahead of almost every count through five. The ball to strike sequencing was didn't give us a chance to get many offensive counts. When we were able to push, he made a pitch where the ball got put on the ground. They turned double plays, then things. Next question for Clint over here in the front. Wait for the microphone. Clint, did you guys judge intent on either of the two hit by pitches? Is that playing to what Tony did at all? Well, you know, you got a pitcher that's dotting everything up, throwing four pitches for strikes, and then Cervelli gets pitched hot up top. So uh, I don't think anybody was a fan of that. Josh got hit with a breaking ball. That's, that, that's, that's probably just the pitch that got away. And in the back right? Clint, uh, Cole did well against most of the Cubs lineup, but ran into trouble with uh, Fowler and with Schwerber. What, what was going wrong for him with those two batters? Uh, the, the first at bat, just an elevated ball that Schwarber was able to get the barrel to and work down the left field line. And then the other pitch was a slider that was supposed to be at the back foot that just spun, almost like a BP pat, fastball that stayed right in the bat path. Fowler had good looks. He didn't get the ball where he wanted there either. Those two guys took advantage of, of missed uh, locations. And another one for Clint? Over here. Thanks. Uh, did you think Arietta was going to crack there late? Don't know if he's going to crack, but we wanted to push him. You know, you want to push him. You want to try and make something happen. Um, you know, we last game here, he kind of helped with an overthrow at first, and we put ourselves in position to do something. He was able to get a ground ball off Polanco to get out of an inning that way. So, you know, you try different things to, to get things accomplished. And, at the end of the day, everything that we tried it eventually got, got shut down or pushed back. We weren't able to score. It kept us off the plate. And right here in front again. Clint, were you in talking to the guys after the game, were you able to reconcile at all 98 wins in the season that you had with a second consecutive ending like this? Well, it's sports hard. Life's not fair. You go out and play. You get beat. You move on. Uh, I, I, I thank the guys for the incredible ride. They took the coaching staff, the support staff, everybody in that clubhouse on this year. We went to some new places. We did some new things. Uh, we're continuing to grow and work hard to get better. We've got uh, opportunity in front of us to, to get better, still get better. And then we honored uh, Ramirez and Burnett. So on the downside of it, you still need to take time out. And you need to honor two, two grown men that have given so much to the game. Ramirez added so much here in a short time. He helped us learn things. AJ's helped us learn things since he's been here, and we wanted to honor them and thank them. They're not going to uni up anymore. That's got to be hard, as hard as it is to lose this game and move on and walk out. It's got to be a little more challenging on their side of it to, to be headed home, headed to the house. And last on the right. The umpire tonight was calling a lot of, uh, a lot of strikes on balls that were borderline around the edges of the strike zone. What kind of feedback were you getting from uh, hitters coming back after, after seeing the calls? You get feedback where they, you know, there's times they think balls are off the plate that are strikes. And, you know, then you make calls and try and find out. Somebody else is looking at them. I don't have time to go and watch the game. Um, all in all, it didn't seem to be like uh, there was anything to the game that was out of context as far as calls were getting made one-sided or anything like that, at least from the questioning I did. Um, when you pitch around the plate, you got good stuff. More often than not, you're going to get more calls when you're throwing strikes and then you're delivering the ball to the edges and then moving it up and down the strike zone. And here in front to the right. Yeah, having been in a bunch of these uh, wild card games here in a row, would you, um, and oddly having the uh, second and third best record in baseball, you and the Cubs, would you propose a change to the one game playoff for especially when the teams are as good as you two are well there's there's been discussion that, that that's already been had uh, that my general manager neil huntington has shared with me that the hardest part of this is is to push back and punish division winners by making them wait to play longer on teams that have won the division if you play a three-game playoff you're pushing it back two more days maybe more than that if there's a day off i think there'll be conversation about it we all know the rules going in this is an outlier se season for sure uh, where you have three teams with the best records in one division. Um, you know, there was two teams in the wild card in 13. So it's a challenge of the game. It's a challenge of sport. 
Um, you know, I think there'll be more conversation over the winter. I don't have any fixes for it right now. And a last one to the far right center. Uh, two, two years now, you guys haven't been able to have sort of a traditional number four guy in the lineup for a game like this. Uh, how much of a factor is that, not having that bat like in that position in a game like this when one swing can do something? Well, you know, it, it's a good point. And you got to look at the pitchers you're facing. Is a traditional number four hitter going to make a difference? Uh, the guy we saw last year, the guy we saw this year, gets fours out. Um, I think we're trying to continue to grow our own. We looked outside. It's, you want to go get a four hitter on the market. I don't know how cost effective that is the position we're in right now. I think we'll analyze a lot of things in the off season to see where we can improve and get better. Everybody would like to have an anchor in the, in the middle of the lineup in these type of games, so I, I agree with you there. We do the best we can with what we got and where we are.